Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Did Ferrari? Yeah, the car Ferrari. Did they make a tennis racket? Well, I might have to show you one real soon. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so Ferrari making tennis rackets. So I don't know if you know this, but um, I wanna say about, I wanna say 10 years ago, there used to be a Ferrari store in downtown San Francisco. They didn't sell cars there though, but they definitely sold jackets, clothes, pants, shoes, I think kind of everything you could imagine labeled Ferrari. And I remember that store. I never walked into that store. Now, my new buddy Dan, I guess used to shop there and go there a lot because he's like, do you remember that Ferrari store? I was like, you know what I do, but I never walked in there because you know Ferraris are out of my price range. He's like, yeah, but I went in there and I actually picked up a tennis racket. I was like, Ferrari sold a tennis racket? He's like, yeah, let me show you. And he brought it into me. So I don't know what Scuderia Ferrari. I'm not sure. I'm not in the Ferraris. I mean, well, I can't afford Ferraris. Therefore, I'm not really in the Ferraris. But I, I'm not, this is somebody's name is my guess. And then obviously the the iconic Ferrari name. Look at the, oh my God, look at the cover. It's got the trademark Ferrari symbol with the horse. I mean, the cover is definitely Ferrari quality. First impressions, it's really well made or well designed, very Ferrari-esque with the red. This is a Prince Exo Red is what it looks like. Cause look, it says Red 105 right there. So I'm guessing Prince helped them make this racket because you could tell that's the exoskeleton, the exogrommet right there. But check it out, the grip, the symbols, you see some of the graphite um, right there, the graphite weaving window. Hmm. Let me check the specs on this thing. Yeah, power 1150, swing weight 288, length is 27 and a quarter, unstrung weight is 10.1 ounces, which is 285 grams, and unstrung balance is 13.1 inches. This is a Prince 03 Red. Huh. Interesting, let me swing this around. This feels, feels heavier, probably because of the weight Wow, I didn't think this is interesting. So I guess they asked Prince to use their racket, maybe even design their colors and wording. So I'm just a little surprised. Let's check the stringing here. Looks like a synthetic, is that Ferrari strings? No. No, it's duo. It's a it's a dual string. It's a Wilson string. Sensation on the main looks like, and like a four G on the cross. Interesting. So I'm not sure what the thing is, but my buddy Dan said he walked into the Ferrari store and purchased that racket for two hundred and ninety nine dollars back in the day. So he said it was probably about. It's definitely over 10 years, maybe a little under 15 years 
so it's it's over 10 years old uh for sure and that store is now gone unfortunately so i'm gonna go and see <laughs> what it plays like my guess is gonna play like a red but um let's see if there was any kind of design to make it go faster through the air all right i'm gonna take a cup of coffee take a sip of this coffee and uh go see if i can find some coaches to try it out with all right you want to support the channel network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin link is below thank you so on the court man coach chris here you are a native san franciscan do you remember there being a ferrari store in downtown san francisco yeah i remember did you ever walk in nope never did can't afford it yep that's exactly what i said so my man dan here my man dan here did walk in and i'm sure he walked in a lot of times and he actually got this from there wow uh, that's a ferrari racket from the ferrari store do you know who this dude is scuderia ferrari do you nope, know who that is but no. my pay grade yeah me too <laughs> so obviously he's a Ferrari. So now, first impressions of this racket for me, it actually says red 105 right there. Okay. That tells me it's a Prince, because I know the with the the big O3 holes. This looks like an XO skeleton, the XO3. <laughs> that tells me that it's a Prince, and Ferrari probably worked with for Prince worked with Ferrari to kind of make it the Ferrari it out with the red. Because the O3 red is actually red with black in it. Hmm. Um, but let's let's try it out. Let's try it out. What do, what do you think of the looks, though? It's pretty nice. Right? Yeah, it's just like the sports car. So. It's like the, the Ferrari red going on here. So let's test it out. Been touching that racket since he's been holding it so he kind of i don't think he's ever he's, have you ever sat in a ferrari before no nope. can't afford one okay yeah i've only seen one on the street and maybe <laughs> pat a one passing me by um anyways what'd you think of that chris uh this racket it reminds me of like a coaching racket it is very forgiving and it's you know 105 so the frame is 105 so pretty much hit it anywhere and it'll just go over the net um the frame is actually quite nice it's pretty stable for one uh i'm not really sure who they're trying to target um this you know racket uh not very i wouldn't recommend it for the competitive players but for those who are just you know coaching and, and using it and playing it uh uh, for fun, this would definitely be one to try out um, and to feed balls with. <laughs> it is very powerful for sure. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to see that Ferrari did a did a racket. Not seen that. It'd be interesting to see if Mercedes or any of the other cars uh, have have one of their own rackets. So, Coach Chris, is that racket as powerful as a Ferrari? Yes, I don't know. I've never been in a Ferrari. Give me that. <laughs> so, I believe um, my man Dan here said this racket was three hundred dollars. Wow. Man, this was over ten years ago. So, no way. Yes. So I mean, I felt like this racket definitely had enough power. It was actually really smooth. I haven't played with an O3 Red in a long time, but definitely not bad at all so for 300 bucks look at it there's actually a serial number in there right there it's a collector's racket 
Yeah, that's what I'm guessing this is. So if you're a Ferrari enthusiast and you wanted everything Ferrari to match with your Ferrari warm-up and your Ferrari shoes, this is definitely the racket to go to that Ferrari country club with. Mm. So hang on to that, Coach Chris. Sure. And this is the handsome cover that it came with. That's cool. They're big on this Scuderia Ferrari. So... But yeah, played really well. Probably played just like an 03 red, but um, easy to play with. Like he said, it's like a teaching racket, easy power. All right. Coach Chris, who do we recommend this to? Um, I think people were. The Weekend Warrior, baby. Okay. Yeah, I guess the Weekend Warrior. The or weekend if you have warrior. a Ferrari can match this racket for your Ferrari. I mean, it's, I, I would. I think it's more of a collector's item. It is, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's so. just a show showcase. Yeah. Just like the Ferrari that you would have. You know, yeah. It's a showcase racket for your showcase car. I want to see other car, you know, makers make their own rackets too. That'd be pretty cool. All right, Coach Chris, you can continue to hold that while you uh, tell them where they can find you. Uh, you can find me at CB Chan Tennis. I'm going to do a little goo here for you guys, okay? Where can we find you, goo? You can find me at AGU, and I'll be closing content on there, too. <laughs> Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.